I'm going to show you how to get set up ready for the session. First, we're going to have to make sure you've got Python installed. The easiest way to get access to Python uh, with a bunch of extra tools is by downloading the free tool Anaconda. So if you first go to anaconda.com, click on the download link up there in the top hand right hand corner. And on this page, if you scroll down the page, you'll end up on the download section where you've got a choice between Python 3.7 and Python 2.7. Make sure at this point you click on the Python 3.7 version, not Python 2.7. Click the download link and follow through the installer. And once you're all done, go ahead and launch Anaconda Navigator. Anaconda Navigator will look something like this. We'll be using JupyterLab in this session as it's easy to get started with. But if you have another setup using someone like PyCharm, Visual Studio Code or Spider, that's absolutely fine. Feel free to go ahead and use those. On the JupyterLab tile, click on the launch button and it will open up a window in your web browser, which will hopefully look something like this. It might take a few moments to launch. Now I'm going to go through and show you how we're going to set things up in JupyterLab for this session. First, we're going to launch a text editor. So if we click on File in the top left, go to New and click on Text File. We can now close this launcher window because we don't need that anymore. Second, we're going to launch a terminal. So we go to File again and once more New and go down to Terminal and click that. Finally, we're going to launch a Python console. So if we click on File, New, and the top value there is console. This should pop up a window asking you which kernel you want. If you're asked this, make sure you select Python 3. Now we're going to make sure we lay this session out so it's going to be easiest for us to use. I'm going to minimize this area on the left here just to make a bit more space on the screen. And I'm going to maximize this window. The way I like to have things laid out is with a text editor on one side of the screen and the areas where I run code on the other. So to do that, I'm going to click and hold on the tab of the console. As you do that and move the mouse, you'll find that a blue box appears. If you move that to the right hand side of the screen and let go, you'll see it's laid out side by side. I do the same thing with the terminal, click, drag and hover so that it completely covers the console on the right hand side. When I let go, we have a console tab, a terminal tab, and a text editor on the left hand side. With that, you're ready to start.